Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we will be discussing the Qatar travel and return policy. Now, if you are planning to travel to Qatar, this information will be helpful. I will also share the link to this information in the description. The information is freely available on covid19.moph.gov.qa. This is the official Ministry of Public Health website for Qatar. So you'll basically understand exactly what you need to do it in order to travel to Qatar. So currently Qatar is open for international tourists. So here under general policy, citizens and residents can travel abroad at any time, which is awesome, provided that the travel and return policy is adhered to. The state of Qatar has classified countries in green, yellow and red lists according to the level of risk in each country. Pre-electronic registration through Eteras.gov.qa is optional for Qatari citizens and residents. However, it is still mandatory for visitors to obtain the travel permit and at least 12 hours before travel. And the passengers will be required to download all official documents and present the travel permit to the airline employees. In case of traveling through Hamad International Airport to allow them to board the aircraft or to immigration employees at land borders in the event of traveling through Abu Samra land port. Unvaccinated citizens and residents who wish to travel abroad to a country classified as non-green are required to book hotel quarantine packages before traveling through the Discover Qatar website at one of the designated quarantine hotels in Qatar. So as I've mentioned guys, we have about 160 plus hotels in Qatar. Now a certain percentage of those hotels have been designated as uh, quarantine hotels, meaning those traveling from Qatar and, and returning, especially those who are required to stay in a quarantine hotel, can book those hotels through Discover Qatar. As we said before, if you are not vaccinated, you have to book through Discover Qatar before you act leave the country because it's essential for returning. So let's say, for example, you are able to leave without having this Discovery Qatar booking. You won't be able to return because if there's no space available. It's important that if you're unvaccinated and you are going to a non-green country, then you have to obviously book a quarantine hotel for Qatar before you leave. Individuals wishing to travel abroad must be aware of health measures applied in the country of arrival regarding quarantine duration and COVID-19 certificate requirements. Nobody wants to travel to a country for vacation and then be stuck in a hotel for like seven days, right? What this paragraph basically means is you have to check and understand what are the travel requirements when you are traveling to any specific country, especially countries who are open, because there are a lot of countries who are currently not accepting any visitors whatsoever. A PCR test for travel abroad must be conducted at private healthcare facilities, which were previously announced by the Ministry of Public Health. So PCR test is required when you leave, and normally, depending on where you go, when you arrive in that country, and also when you come back, you have to do another PCR test, and when you arrive in the country as well. So it really depends on where you go. But here it states that you have to do a PCR test before leaving at a private healthcare facility. A PCR test must be conducted at an approved medical center by the local Ministry of, of Health in the country of departure before traveling to the state of Qatar. So like I said, you do a PCR test here before you leave for your destination. And also when you are there in that country traveling back to Qatar, you also have to do a PCR test but it has to be by approved medical center by the local Ministry of Health, right, in that specific country. GCC citizens who have recovered from COVID-19 are required to present the original vaccination certificate, at least one dose of any of the recognized vaccines by the Ministry of Public Health over here in Qatar. They have to provide a PCR test as well as a certificate proving occurrence of COVID-19 infection. Employees planning to travel abroad should coordinate with the employers on their travel and return dates, taking into consideration a quarantine duration. You have to coordinate with your company, your travel and return dates, because on return, when you arrive in Qatar, you cannot start working because if you're coming from the, those six countries, for example, you have to stay, even if you're vaccinated, you have to stay at least two days in a quarantine hotel and do the PCR test. And once it's negative, you will exit. However, if you are not vaccinated and you return from your vacation or your travels, you will have to stay 10 days in the quarantine hotel. So. Please bear that in mind. If hotel quarantine criteria apply, the Ministry of Public Health shall cover costs of the hotel quarantine packages in Qatar for patients receiving their treatment abroad with their local escorts. With written approval from medical committee for treatment abroad of the public of Ministry of Public Health at the expense 
of the state of Qatar. Employers shall cover expenses of the hotel quarantine for their employees upon returning from official missions. In the event of home quarantine, accommodation conditions must be appropriate where there is a separate room with an suite bathroom. If the accommodation does not meet the requirements, the, the passenger must book a hotel quarantine package through the Discover Qatar website before traveling. So obviously if you staying alone and you are required to do home quarantine, if you're staying alone in your apartment, then it shouldn't be a problem. However, if you are a big family in, let's say, one bedroom, where that one bedroom does not have an ensuite bathroom, meaning that other members of the family will have to use that same bathroom where the person of interest is, then you have to book a hotel quarantine. Immunity period for the vaccinated individuals is 12 months. Starting after 14 days, from the date of the second dose and the immunity period can be extended based on any new data in this regard. Number 13, list of approved slash conditionally approved vaccines by the Ministry of Public Health. So approved vaccines are Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson and conditionally approved is your Sinopharm. Travelers who are fully vaccinated with the above specified conditionally approved vaccine shall undergo antibody tests on arrival. If the result is positive, they shall be exempt from the quarantine requirements. If the result is negative, the passenger will be required to do a PCR test upon arrival and must undergo quarantine based on the classification of the departure country. Passengers who have taken one of the recognized vaccines must submit the original vaccination certificate, which shall include the following information. Name of the passenger, and it must match the passport. Dose dates according to the type of vaccine. So one dose for Janssen vaccine, which is Johnson & Johnson, and two doses for the other vaccines. Type name of the vaccine, lot number of the vaccine, if any, official logo or seal of vaccination authority. Citizens and residents from a previous infection within the last 12 months are exempt from quarantine upon return from abroad if they were asymptomatic and their PCR test results is negative. This rule shall apply to individuals diagnosed in Qatar only, while those diagnosed in, in any GCC countries who have received at least one dose of recognized vaccine by the MOPH of Qatar, which is the Ministry of Public Health, shall be exempt from quarantine, provided that official certificate with the details of the previous infection issued by the local Ministry of Health in the GCC is presented. It is the responsibility of the individual, individual to make sure of any changes to the travel and return policy of the state of Qatar through the official source and website previously mentioned before planning to travel. What I'm reading to you now may change, uh, let's say in a few days from now, a week from now, a month from now. So don't solely depend on the information in this video. So as I've mentioned, the link to this MOPH website will be in the description so you can check the updated information on there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find it useful, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.